Welcome to Operation Market Garden, and here in close combat, Last Stand Arnhem, we're going to be playing as the Polish Paratrooper Brigade, guys, going back into Europe to try and get some vengeance for what has happened to our country. Now, we are going to be tasked with taking a large area here uh, in advance of, you know, of course, incoming soldiers, so wish us the best of luck. I hope we do an okay job. It is, of course, an allied attack, so we need to do our absolute best and be on our best behavior. Let's start setting up here and get a good idea of what we want to do. For sure, Würburg, the Arnhem Road Bridge, and the Rail Bridge area are going to need to be places that we go ahead and take out. I'm actually going to set the first platoon HQ as close as I can to the front. This is about as close as we're going to get. With the Bren Group, I'm going to try to use the buildings to move through, so I'm going to kind of move fast. Um, ooh, this is going to be tough. We'll kind of move fast up here using uh, those bushes as cover. Uh, the platoon HQ can stay here, and we also want to decide what to do with these guys. Probably advancing to that building and advancing with these units to this building, but I think I want to dedicate a few more troops here to Würburg. Now we've got this Vickers machine gun, and you know, I think we're going to have to push it into this house, um, or at least pretty close to the house and what we'll do is immediately try to rush into this building i think that that'll be extraordinarily important of course we don't want to risk our platoon hq but certainly with the vickers we're going to do this now the bren group could actually provide some covering fire um but the bren might actually be better in an assault situation so we're going to move to that building with the bren group we'll keep this rifle group back of course um providing covering fire and we'll send this rifle group quickly into pretty much the same location the difference being i'm just going to get them here to the hedges first um, we've got a three inch mortar i want to make sure that we separate him uh three inch mortar and yeah two three inch mortars and a brand group our, our biggest issue here is we have three commanders for this battle i think that's a bit overkill to be honest um let's do something else we'll take this brand group and move him into that building We've got a Piat, just in case. I'll even move the Platoon HQ into this building. It's a little risky, I know, but we've got to take a few risks here. Um, this is a fictional scenario. The Polish paratroopers never made it this far. A lot of them actually died in the landings. So let's try and uh, fight in their memory and kill some Germans, cause some havoc amongst the German lines at the very least. Uh, in fact, I'll take this Platoon HQ... I think I want to bring him along. I'm just going to set him up in this building over here. All right, and wish us luck, folks. Okay, pretty quiet so far. <clears throat> and in case anybody's wondering, we uh, have the game on medium um, speed. You could put it every from slow to fast. I think medium really is best as the movement is a lot more realistic here. Um, you know, this is... This is a little more believable than a lot of the movement we get um, when you try to play fast here with the older close combat games. So here we go. We're getting to the Eld area. Oh, also, no, I don't I don't know if I want to dedicate any more men to this location. No, you know what? I am going to send some men here. Oh, my goodness. Damn, that was fast. Should have kept them there. Defend. Let's open fire. If we want, we can call in our mortars here. Probably not a bad idea to do that, although this is danger close, man. It's an SS Zuga Troop unit, so this is actually um, a commander unit. Man, they are prepared. They did not want to let us pass. I'm just going to target them with mortars and try to knock them out. And you can actually see the red beret on our Bren group, which is really cool. I'm also going to order our men to open fire on the Zug Troop, but look at that. They've got more men in that chicken coop, it looks like. Keep up the fire. Keep up the fire. Did not expect this. What about the other guys? How are they doing? They seem to be doing pretty well, honestly. Um, no contacts yet. Wait, enemy spotted. A lot of enemies as well, guys, and from what I can tell, we don't have any actual um, air support or artillery support here, so let's just get in the damn building. That's danger close. That may have actually been one of our mortars causing problems there. Light him up. Damn. 
We just can't see through there, and our boys are getting vaporized. So I'm going to go ahead and put some heavy fire right there on that chicken coop. And even with the vickers, I'd love to, to do two things at once, but we can't. Um, the same goes for the mortar. You know, we should really be firing that mortar over there. But that machine gun is so devastating to us. Let's make sure the platoon HQ is also putting in some work here. I don't give a damn if they're platoon HQ. We're dealing with SS. We need to get rid of them and get rid of them quickly. I think we only got one of them there. We did. I did just hear one of the guys get wounded there. Um, but what I'm going to do is switch the mortar fire into that group. It's an 8 centimeter mortar. So mortar versus mortar fire is always fun. And look at that. We're already getting some nice shots with the mortar there. Wounded two of them for sure. A Panzer Shrek unit. It's a shame we don't have any armor ourselves. See how these boys doing. They are taking shots. I'm not so sure this was such a good idea. Um, let's try to go directly to the house. There is kind of a swamp here, or a lake anyway, um, so we're going to have to go around it. Looks like the Bren group still hasn't really spotted these guys. They're just out of reach. And we're going to have to make a run for it, guys. We've got to take them out, but of course we still have to worry about the machine gun over here. Those mortars are firing. I'm also worried about those mortars. They have nobody defending them. Although, keep in mind, any mortar crew in World War II and probably today does have... I don't know if it's called a combat team, but they have men with them with rifles um, just in case things pop off. Although, a lot of times in World War II, it would just be three guys. The loader, um, the commander, or the, the spotter, um, and the guy that fires the mortar, or maybe a loader, a spotter, and uh, a rifleman. So... Not the greatest situation. Now look at that. It looks like the Bren group might make it to the building. But we still haven't taken a single location. Not even the crossroads. Uh, so this is not a great start. Let's push the platoon HQ up. I think we're going to have to run out there with the Bren group. Now that's right. We got this rifle group. Guys, we're going to try to sneak with the rifle group. I totally forgot about them. We're going to try to sneak with the rifle group over here into the chicken coop. We definitely hurt a bunch of the SS there with the mortar fire, though I'm not sure how significant the damage has been. In fact, I want to readjust that mortar fire there. Let's get the three inch mortar. And let's fire at this guy, because there could be more guys in that building. And look at that, an entirely other group over here and more enemies advancing over here. So we want to get really ready. In fact, what I'm going to do is defend this way. Pretty much get prepared. It would actually be good to kind of move to the windows here. So I'm going to push our guys forward. And I'm going to do the same with uh, our commander. Let's see how these guys are doing with the sneak. They're almost there. They are definitely taking their time. And, and, and thank goodness that they are. I want to use every single one of these mortars that we've got. We don't have air support. Oh, man. Oh, here we go. Hunter Grenadier moving. It's the best time to pop mortars, although they are moving. Uh, we could absolutely cause some damage here. Come on. Good shooting, boys. Good shooting. The Bren group is almost there, and in fact, I almost want to grab the Bren group here and move forward. Running low on ammunition. That's something that doesn't happen in the newer uh, war games. That's a pretty scary uh, thought, to run low on ammunition here. Gotta hit those Panza Grenadier. And you know what? Now that they're reaching this sort of ditch area, I think they'll slow down a bit. What a shame that we don't have... Air support or artillery support, but this is Operation Market Garden. Pretty typical. And it looks like this guy's still alive. I didn't even realize, but our Bren group is still alive. We are busy. Kill him. We 
we might have to do an assault before he gets there, before they get there. Because I don't think they know we're here. Let's go. Come on, boys. It's time to make it happen. Rifle group. At least we've got some covering fire. That's very helpful. There we go. Beautiful hit with the mortar. And we are getting into the building. Look at this, guys. Can actually see our guys throwing grenades. Some of the enemies using their bayonets. Man, it's crazy out here. Keep firing. Our guys are low on mortar ammo. That's why they are asking us to recheck our shots. And these are good. One of them just popped into the water, but that's okay for now. Just get into position, boys. This is damn good. You know what? I'm even going to move in with the rifle group. We are going to do a good old-fashioned counterattack here to try and take that position. Come on. Still throwing grenades. The SS Panzer Grenadier are tough. We just now killed one of them. We killed a few of them over there, but they are tough, man. Let me tell you. Get him. Get him, rifle group. Light him up. Grenades all over the damn place, and we're still fighting over a single location. I want to make sure that our platoon HQ is doing some work as well. Man, they got vaporized quickly. It's also the remnants of the previous group. I'm pushing with the platoon HQ as well. You bet. Conserve ammunition. Fire. Conserve ammunition. We're still fighting. It's amazing. The Polish rifle group it, group is still fi firing and fighting over here. Another one down. We finally got him with the bayonet, but not without. No, I think. Do we have losses? Yes, one guy wounded on our end. Wounded is better than dead. There we go. Good shot with the mortar. And now with the Polish rifle group, they're still throwing grenades out the window there at that Panzer Grenadier unit. Beautiful. We got it, guys. We got it. Now with the platoon HQ, I am just setting up, setting up a defensive location. I don't want these guys getting hurt anymore. And I'm going to take the rifle group and move this way. Our mortars may already be out of... Yep, this one is. So we are going to make him... Turning him into an attack unit, pretty much. The enemy's offered a truce. I am not accepting that. We're doing whatever we can to take that location. Even if it means running across um, the damn map and grabbing it. So let's start pushing with the Bren group for the crossroads. Platoon HQ getting hit might cost us too many morale points. That's going to have to do, though. Um, and we'll take this Bren group, and we're going to make a push right there into town. Yeah, it's risky, but we are the brave Polish. Facing the SS. Unbelievable, man, that we made it this far. I'd love to take that Elst area. I'd love to even move deeper into this building, but I worry about what is, what is going to happen. All right, there we go. Let's see if this mortar... Yeah, he's also going to be an assault force over there at the crossroads. Well, this rifle group's okay. They're they're pretty much untouched. There's been a lot of gunfire, a lot of they're splattered with blood, but none of them are hurt or or killed. Just got to take the fight to the enemy. I hope we got all of them crossing over here. Um, there's still some. Look at that. Another SS machine gun group, an MG42 on the way. So we want to keep our eyes open, keep our eyes and ears open. It looks like our guys are already targeting them. And I love seeing all that a lot all that movement across the map. It's just a wonderful sight. Here we go. Boys making contact. And sure enough, they came across the Panzer Grenadier unit. 
They got him, guys, with one grenade throw. Man, I hope that there are some medals for this fight. There we go. A minor allied victory. Nothing crazy to write home about, but I thought it was pretty damn good. And as you can see here, um, the kills on both sides were pretty much the same. But in terms of an incapacitated, we wounded a bunch of the enemy. Unfortunately, we did not take any prisoners. That's not something to be very proud of here. Um, we got the Polish version of the Purple Heart. I'm not sure what it's called here. A really pretty actual medal there, to be honest with you. But I'm trying to see if any of our guys managed um, some serious medals. It doesn't look like it. And with 4.5 kills, I think... That's a little unfair. Nonetheless, I hope you guys had fun in this battle in Last Stand Arnhem. As always, I love doing these kind of videos, so if you'd be so kind as to like and comment to help us with the YouTube algorithm, I really would appreciate it. Thank you so much, guys. Doesn't hurt either to put some uh, keywords in your comments occasionally. Catch you on the next one.